Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. Karma will not happen the way that you want it to, unfortunately. I know that we'd ideally like the person to experience the same amount of pain and the same type of pain and heartbreak that we went through, but it is not usually the way karma works. Their karma is going to be watching you level up, but in a very specific way. They are going to watch you receive what they ultimately desire. So if their desire is recognition and fame, you'll receive recognition and fame. If their desire is wealth and money, you are going to be wealthy and have one hell of a bank account. If their desire is finding the perfect match or significant other and living a fairy tale life, then they will watch you thrive in a love filled relationship while they are in a loveless one. It's true, God will set your table right in front of your enemies. But Karma, she likes the fact that there is some cruel irony to the things she does. She'll make sure that they're watching you while you get everything that they once desired. Oh, okay. They once desired to be rich and famous, but now they don't? Ah, whatever. Who knew it would be that easy? All I needed to do to be rich was to meet someone who also wanted to be rich, which is probably everybody, go through a heartbreak or whatever, and wait for karma to work its magic. If I only knew this, let's say, 20 years ago, it would have made no difference. There's like this huge problem that I've been noticing in the dating world. The good, good, respectful men, the men with boundaries, will not approach women because they're trying to respect their boundaries. And it is true that biologically speaking, women are far more attuned to subtleties, like body language subtleties, than men. So a lot of times, women will actually be giving off clues and cues that they want to be approached but it's more of like they're trying to give off a vibe or something and the man has no idea what ends up happening is that it's the men with no boundaries or that don't respect boundaries or the narcissists or the creeps that end up approaching the woman and then the women in my life complain that it's only the creeps that approach them when it's really we women need to be giving off way more intense more intense clues she meant to say before ending her video. She also said it's women who give up cues and clues, so which one is it? And what exact situation are we talking about when you're saying men approaching women? If it's just random on the streets, you won't really have time to give off cues and clues, so that's out the window. Bars, clubs maybe? Not really sure those are cues and clues you want to give off after you had one too many and you're dancing on tables. But hey, Silver Lining is, she has a link in her bio and she reveals women for only $27. I'm sure I'll be just as confused after spending the $27, so I'm gonna pass. As your bougie best friend, I have the responsibility to tell you how you can get a guy to send you an Uber in those beginning stages of dating. First, I have to recognize this is not a big ask. There's a lot of men out there that are actual gentlemen. The key here is to just ask very casually it's a very normal question you're gonna say exactly this would you like to pick me up or send me a car if he has an issue with that <laughs> you have an issue with him and there are so many men you have an issue with and yet you're still trying i'll have to give you credit for that i guess but no being a gentleman doesn't mean spending money on you i think you're a little bit confused about that part a man that is interested is gonna offer to pick you up as he should and in that case you can say either yes or you can say no you can say no if you consider safety reasons if you don't want him to know your address and either way you should pay for your own uber as you should It's crazy that as a girl, you're raised to believe that at 30, your life is like gonna end in some metaphorical way, but I'm 31, almost 32, and I feel like this is the best I've ever felt, looked, and just been in my entire life. So don't, don't believe it. I can't wait to be 40. 
of course you are. I mean, I'm sure you are, but why? What's gonna magically happen at 40 is that it's gonna make your life so much better than right now. You'll have even a smaller bathroom to film your success in, or what exactly is it gonna change at 40? In my experience, happy people don't record videos trying to convince others how happy they are. But in your case, I'm sure it's true. At least for me, coming from a girl, when I see a certain guy that I'm interested in, like, likes my photo, I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, Bryn, he liked my photo. I literally look for it. I'm like, oh my gosh, so-and-so liked my photo. Yeah, and then we get excited. So that's why I feel like girls get sensitive when their boyfriends do it, because that's how we feel when a guy likes us. Then don't post those type of pictures and you'll no longer attract the type of men who spend time on the internet liking other girls' pictures. If your man is liking other girls' pictures on Instagram, I think you should run. Specifically, bikini pictures, thirst trap. Ladies, you know a thirst trap. I don't think that's a bad take, but I do think it's a little hypocritical to ask your partner to not like pictures that you yourself are posting, because what does that mean? If men tell their girlfriends that they don't feel comfortable with their girlfriend posting bikini pictures online, they're insecure and it's controlling, right? But when a female is uncomfortable over the fact that her boyfriend is liking pictures of other women's thirst stats because she feels disrespected for the exact same reason that a man wouldn't want his girlfriend posting a bikini picture, it's okay. There you go. Now, in all honesty, I do believe that we both, men and women, need to take responsibility for our own actions. I am talking about relationships, though not one I stand hookups or whatever. If we as men only go for the bikini models, then we can't really be surprised that later on they're still gonna post bikini pictures. And if women met Chad because Chad at some point liked their bikini pictures, then they can't really expect Chad to stop liking other girls' pictures. So let me tell you why it's so hard to date a single mom and to date while being a single mom. So I recently met this guy while I was out, met him in the wild, everything was great, he was super cute, we were vibing, he got my number, um, and then we continued to talk afterwards. Now the problem with this is I only have certain days that I can see someone. There might even be a week or two that goes by where I just cannot see you. And in the early stages of dating, that is very hard and detrimental to, you know, your dating life. Because if you can't keep a conversation going through, you know, text messages or phone calls, FaceTimes, whatever, I'm going to get bored. And I know people say, like, you really shouldn't text that much early on. But I have no choice, unfortunately, because I have every Friday night free. My daughter is with her dad every Friday night. But... I can't expect that people are going to be free those days. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. So like I said, maybe a week or two will go by where I can't see you. And for me, in the early stages of dating, I am not going to get a babysitter. I'm not gonna ask my mom. I'm not gonna do any of that for someone who I don't feel is worth it. And I know that sounds harsh, but I don't know you. I'm not taking time away from my daughter. Later on, if we decide that things are going well and we really get along, I don't have a problem getting a babysitter, but then it's a no from me. So it's a no from you either way? No, I was already convinced we should stay away from each other, but now I trust you 100%. Just a friendly reminder that if he seems like a good- Yeah, yeah, he's not got it. That was one unsuccessful lip filler. Was the doctor drunk? What exactly happened? Or did you get them like that on purpose because Halloween is just around the corner? Excuse me for looking so crazy. I just got to a hotel room by myself. It has been the craziest 24 hours of my life. So I will start the story by saying I met a guy on Tinder probably two months ago will call him Joe. And before I start the story, I don't want anyone to think by any means I'm playing the victim. I just want to show how crazy and manipulative and scary people that you meet on the internet can be. So Joe and I met for drinks. We had a great time, amazing chemistry, and this is how it always starts. Red flag, you're my soulmate type of talk. We get along so well. It's amazing, like complete narcissism manipulation. As things progress, he starts to learn what I do, and then I am very successful for my age. I told him I work in social media, and I post nudes on OnlyFans, but only nudes. He asked me how much I made a month, and I told him, and this is where our issues started to really transpire. 
And then the crazy scary man she met on the internet convinced her to film a video together, posted on her OF account, and then he took half the money. That's the rest of the story because her video went for almost 6 minutes. And like she said, she's not playing the victim, but she had to give him 50% of the revenue from that video. Oh no, you should be more careful about the crazy strangers you meet on the internet. Who knows what may happen? They might convince the OF girl to do o OF. Come on now. And I truly don't understand why it's that hard to remember. I know, I'm sorry. You should be sorry, it's pathetic. And when I get home, I expect to see something in our driveway that can go zero to 200 in six seconds, or you're gonna really see me flip out. Hey. Hello. What is this? <laughs> Happy anniversary, baby. Someone's gonna eat canned food for one week, but that's beside the point. Anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.